Lovedamna Bhakto, Raj Bharatna Jay Swaminarayan. Learning the importance of our spiritual lineage is an important part of being a part of Lovedam Parivar. Sadhguru Smriti Mahotsav III is a celebration in memory of our Pooja Dadaruji. It is important to learn and take from the life of Pooja Dadaruji in order to develop his values in our life. Pooja Dadaruji often mentions Pooja Dadaruji's life episodes in his discourses in order to develop Pooja Dadaruji's values in our life. So we should study Pooja Dadaruji's life. Moreover, in the 18th chapter of Vartal in the Vashtanut, Maharaj says, one should know the line of succession of his guru. Maharaj then went on to narrate the line of succession for his guru, Ramanand Swami. And so as part of Loredam Parivar, we should know the line of succession of our guru, Pooja Dorji. And that is, Sadguru Muttanan Swami, Sadguru Adharan Swami, Sadguru Haripriya Dasji Swami, Sadguru Vaitun Charung Dasji Swami, Sadguru Narayan Swap Dasji Swami, our Pooja Dar Dorji, Sadguru Nantishwar Dasji Swami, and our Pooja Dorji. There is no life or death for God and God-realized saints. They come to this earth based on their own desire. Our Pooja Dar Dorji came to this earth with Maharaja's Atna. In India, near Junagad, there was a small village that had many mandirs in it. This village was named the Madhra. In this village near Adamji Mandir, lived a man named Jairam Bapa. He was a very kind and affectionate man who understood the importance of having good morals and values. He passed on these qualities to his son, Valji Bhai. He and his wife, Rakhmi Ba, were both very devout devotees, and they both carefully passed on good values and morals to their children. On Monday, June 3rd, 1925, Bhima a son was born to Valji Bhai and Rakhmi Ba. This was none other than our Pooja Dar Guruji. He was named Popat Bhajat by his family. On this day, the stars automatically aligned themselves to be auspicious, and all throughout the lands, even in the pasturing grounds, everyone was at peace. The rivers were overflowing with lotus flowers, and everyone felt a uh, sense an air of good fortune. And on this day, everyone could feel divine vibrations proclaiming the arrival of Bhagwan's Mukta, our Pooja Dar Guruji. Jai The Vajramut is the essence of the Vedas, the Vedan Sutras, the Upanishads, the Bhagavad Gita, and other scriptures. It is the book of the nectar and words of Lord Swaminarayan. It is revealed in text in as much as the words have came straight out of Sri Swaminarayan Bhagwan's mouth, who is the ultimate reality himself. Today, I'll share some gems from the Vajramut that you can imply in your daily routine life. Gem 1. By cultivating the contact of a realized saint who sincerely observes the five holy injunctions, the force of bhakti flourishes. Gartha 1st chapter, 29th Vachamud. Jam 2. A devotee who has intense love for God will always abide by his orders, but never act against his wishes. Karyani 11th Vachamud. Jam 3. One who discards ego and offers his worship to God only for earning his grace is the greatest of all devotees. Gartha Middle Chapter 41st Vachanamrut Jai Samnarayan Tatilak Chandlo The symbol of Tatilak Chandlo is a physical representation for followers of Lord Swaminarayan. Tatilak Chandlo distinguishes one from all other religions. Lord Swaminarayan himself introduced the Tilak Chandlo. The sight of it prompts others to utter the name Swaminarayan, or for those who are new to it, it urges them to inquire about its significance and thereby they too become introduced to Lord Swaminarayan through his devotees as a result of this mark known as Tilak Chandlo. Lord Swaminarayan has commanded in the Shiksha Patri Shlok 52. All male devotees shall mark their forehead with Urdhva Pundratilak, a U-shaped mark of Gopi Chandan or sandalwood paste, with a round Kumkum Chandlo in the middle. Married women shall only make a round mark of Kumkum on their forehead. Tilak, U-shape, is the symbol of the lotus feet of God, and it leads you to Akshardham. The Tilak is yellow in color 
as it's made of sandalwood paste. The chandelo is red in color. It's made of kumkum, also known as potash nitrate. The chandelo is a symbol of bhakti and it symbolizes Radhika ji and Lakshmi ji and their spiritual prosperity. Just like other symbols, the Tilak Chandalo signifies bhakti and devotion to God. The Tilak Chandalo is primarily applied on the forehead. For the males, when the Tilak Chandalo is put on, the following mantras must be said. For the forehead, Om Vasudevaya Namaha For the chest or heart, Om Sankarshanaya Namaha For the right arm, Om Pratyumanai Namaha. For the left arm, Om Aniruddhaya Namaha. For the females, when the Kumkum Chandlu is put on, the following mantra is to be recited Om Mahalakshmi Narayanaya Namaha. The best way to show that you are a true Swaminarayan devotee is to apply the Tilak Chandlo daily. Jai Swaminarayan.